So this is going to be the second demo video of Mechanic. As you know from the previous one, it's Unity Configuration Tool. And you can tweak Unity Voucher, you can tweak the Dash, the Unity Panel, Unity Switcher, and additional Unity settings. You can tweak General Copy Settings, Workspace Switcher, Windows Parade. This is the Expo plugin, this is the Scale plugin. You can tweak Windows Snapping, which is Compass Grid. And you can set up Hot Corners, you can tweak uh, GTK Decoration and GTK Themes. You can tweak Icon Themes. You can tweak cursor themes and you can tweak fonts and you can tweak the desktop icons. Now the first thing I'm going to start it is the desktop icons. Basically you can disable the desktop icons but I'm not going to do that. It's going to be to create some glitches. You can enable the home folder, network devices, trash, network servers, uh, trash and devices. You can disable those and when that module is completely done you can align the desktop to grid, the icons to grid and you can set up the icon size. From appearance you can tweak the font settings. Well, obviously you will be able to tweak the GTK window decoration team, icon team, cursor team. But for now the only the fonts section is done so I'm just going to demo that. You can tweak the the default font, you can tweak the document font, monospace font, window title font, you can set the anti-aliasing, you can tweak the hinting, and you can make the text a bit bigger. Now it's it got bigger or smaller. Now let it walk. Yep. Now that's down. From compass you'll be able to tweak the zoom, you'll be able to set up a bunch of keyboard shortcuts you will be able to no actually you are able to tweak the texture quality to set it to be fast for really slow video cards good for normal mm -hmm. videos and best for really cool videos and you'll be able to, and you are able to enable sync to web one which is really nifty for intel and nvidia video cards and you can you you will be able to tweak a bunch of keyboard shortcut settings now you are able to disable the workspace switcher but i'm not going to do that i like the workspace switcher honestly <laughs> and you can tweak the desktop outline color as you can see now it's orange and i can set it to some pink yeah i like pink <laughs> pink is cool and i can tweak the number of desktops i have oh blimey that's a lot of desktops here you can tweak the window spread, which is the scale plugin, which is the super plus double, super plus double, not super. <laughs> and you can tweak the spacing between the elements, which is this thing here. I'm just going to make it. Oh, you can't type here yet anyway just going to make it a bit smaller as you can see now the space is a bit smaller you can enable overlay emblem as you can see now it says terminal and now it should say mechanic but mechanic doesn't have icon and storm cloud doesn't really use the school book way of emblems and icons and stuff like this you can also enable click on the desktop to switch to it which is really cool basically if i enable this and i go back now it minimizes only everything but the windows from which i started the scaling you can tweak the window snapping and hot corners but that's not down yet now about those two we have really cool ui here and it's going to be really awesome when we are done with it from unity the only section that's down is the launcher basically you can set the launcher to auto height you can set the review location left side or top left corner you can set the review sensitivity now it's going to be really easy to invoke now it's going to be really hard to invoke as you can see now let's go back to the default value you can set the launcher to be transparent now let's just fling that now as you can see launcher is totally opaque you can see anything behind it and when it's transparent you can tweak the transparency now what is really cool is this stopper widget which basically pinpoints the default value and if you want to go back you can go back to it extremely easily you can tweak the launcher visibility if you have multiple monitors to be on the old desktops or just on the primary but then again i don't have those on the system you can tweak the outer color to be chameleonic 
or custom as you can see now it got some blackish color and now it matches the wallpaper color which is some purple-ish color you can tweak the icon size from you can set it to any value from 32 to 64 now this might be a bit glitchy because of Kazam oh look it loaded you can tweak the icon covering backlit toggles backlit always on let's set it to backlit always backlit always on as you can see now we have backlit everywhere and you can flick the show the desktop icon now it's just going to appear somewhere around here now eh, here it is the show the desktop icons and that's basically it for now we are working on more backend and we should be able to release that soon ish bye bye